Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Thrallish Plays Minecraft. Uh, this should be episode 8, and we're hanging out in our little aquarium coral research area. And as you can see, I've done some work here. Uh, added a little bookshelf uh, with some trap doors and <clears throat> some actual bookshelves <laughs> and some stairs. And I've also got a little crafting, or crafting bench. I have a little alchemy bench over here, uh, a little stairs set up, uh, a sink, you know, so we got a bunch of water over there, so we need a sink. Anyways, a uh, little chest area, there's nothing in it, and a little color with a little dandelion. Um, the ceiling's a little ripped out, but that's okay. We're gonna, I'm working on designs, coming up with some designs. We're really close up here um, to the floor of the house and the grass above, etc. So it's been a little difficult. Uh, I also lowered this down um, just so it kind of didn't look so funky with the roof. And I've been digging a big hole. <laughs> this is a very big hole. Um, I can't wait to fight the wither and get a beacon because this took way longer than it should have. Uh, this is going to become the area that we have all of our farms in, uh, which I am super excited about. But uh, that is for another day. What I wanted to show you over here was I got the storage room pretty much done. I don't have all the storage labeled um, or up from the mine. But uh, this storage room should last us for the whole series, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's a lot of chests in here. And I <clears throat> plan on expanding into these walls as well. Uh, I think at the end of the room over here, I'm going to put an enchanting setup that we have uh, downstairs. I'm just going to throw it here. Uh, but that is not what today is going to be for. What today is for is building a bridge from here to there. Uh, I, I feel like building today. I really want to get some building done, and, and I'm sick and tired of doing this every time I want to come to the nether portal. Eventually, we'll, uh, we'll fix this island and make it more nethery? Nethery? We'll call it nethery. Uh, but I have a bunch of materials here, and uh, we're going to we're gonna build a little bridge. Um, as a recap, uh, I almost forgot to mention, in the last episode, <clears throat> we uh, found a nether fortress. Uh, my first nether fortress ever. It's really weird because, like, half of it is in the netherrack, and you have to, like, dig a bunch of that stuff out. Oh, yeah, I got to fix that. <laughs> and uh, we also got our villager breeder. Uh, yeah, up and running. I'll say up and running. It's definitely working. Uh, it's out that way, that little landmass that's forming right there. It's on the tip of that island there. I moved it from there to there. Uh, winner, loser. So what we're going to do today is we are going to work on that uh, bridge. I almost said bridge to Terabithia. Uh, spoiler alert, she she uh, she dies in the end. Anyways, uh, let's work on this bridge, and uh, I'll pick some foundations and start uh, laying some stuff down, and I'll walk you through what I'm doing. All right, so we've got our foundation in. Uh, and what I've got here is just a, a basic bridge. Um, and you, you know slabs and then uh, to give it a little bit of depth instead of just up one level up one level you kind of leave this slab here missing uh, it just gives it a little extra character a little depth all right and on the side here we have some cobblestone pillars that kind of make it look like we're supporting this uh, bridge with these and you know we do the mossy cobblestone underneath because it's in water uh, so now what I want to do is put a, a I'm going to do roof with air quotes here. <laughs> uh, we're going to put a little roof on this guy. All right. So we want uh, some cobblestone walls. Um, and I'm going to mix in some mossy cobblestone with the cobblestone here uh, just to uh, cut it up a little bit. And then uh, I think I'm going to go up three here. Um, we'll go up, up. And then we've got... Uh, See, we'll leave this one. Uh, we'll put this one up at the top as mossy. And then I think on these ones I'm going to go up two total. I'm going to do you and over here. What do we got? Moss, moss, moss. Uh, so we'll do moss over here. Why not? Put you there and you there. All right. So we've got uh, a little pillar system going on right now. All right. So what we're going to do at the top 
is we are going to actually let me look at the side over here I just want to make sure that the um, there's not a weird uh, amount of bricks or slabs excuse me and there is over here I think I want to th thicken rather than thin uh, I'll decide on that later but uh, what we're gonna do right now is we are going to um, I'm gonna come out over here with some sand and I'm gonna do a cobblestone wall or a stair here Wow a stone brick stair and a stone brick stair and then I'll do the same thing on the other side uh, a stone brick stair and then a stone brick stair and then on the top of that let's do uh, Let's grab some cobblestone so I don't destroy that grass down at the bottom there. On the top of this here, what I'm going to do is put um, some stone brick slabs here and here. And then in the center of that, we're going to make, I'm going to need four of these in total. We're going to add uh, one of these. Uh, so let's put this back and then right in the center, boom. All right, and that's going to be our... A uh, little pillar, <clears throat> excuse me, a little roof kind of structure thing uh, for this, <clears throat> goodness, excuse me, for this bridge. Let's do this, this, and this, and we'll do a stair, a stair on the other side. That's upside down. Did I put that on right? I did. Um, and then a slab on top. And we'll do the same thing. Oh, I missed. Do the same thing on the other side. Boom, boom, boom. We'll do a stair and an upside down stair. Make sure I put that on right. And it looks like I did. A slab and then a chiseled stone brick in the middle. All right. I'm going to crack on doing the rest of these uh, roof sort of things. I guess I'll call them roofs, that's fine. And uh, I'll be back once uh, those are on. All right, that doesn't look half bad. It was super easy to build, it actually looks pretty good. So the only other thing that I wanna do here is I wanna put a little light in the center of it. And I was gonna do glowstone, but I decided not to. So we're just gonna chuck this lantern right here. It looks a little out of place, just sitting there in the center. Um, but I, I can't think of really any better lighting to do. And again, I'm sorry for the torch span. I'll uh, spam. I'll get rid of that at some point. But I think with that uh, on the top there, it actually looks pretty decent. I could put more on the sides, but I feel like that's going to be clunky. Let's try it. I feel like it's just going to be too, too clunky. If clunky is even the right word to use. Um, I mean, it doesn't look terrible from this angle. Kind of like how it's, you know, set in with those slabs there, but, uh, how's it look like from over here? You know, not awful. But I feel like I should have this here, if I'm going to do that. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You know, it kind of gives this like more of a roof here, uh, which I'm fine with. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And it'll definitely light this up a bit more. I just want to reiterate once again that the update Aquatic was one of the greatest updates that's ever happened to Minecraft. All of this stuff dancing around in the water here is just... Because this... Remember when this all used to just be blank? There was nothing here but just blocks. God, this just ties any build together that goes in or over water or near water. It just, oh God, this update is so good. So good. So I did some, some basic uh, decorating around the place, around the... Um, this thing we just built, which is called a bridge. All right, I put some reeds, you know, I did some, uh, I didn't really do a lot of terraforming. I might get rid of some of the side here and, and make this less of a block. 
and I want to make a path that runs up this, um, goes up and connects to our path over here. So we kind of have something we can, you know, run down, light it up a little bit, etc., etc. Um, I put some pickles in the water because hello, sea pickles are the best. And we got our little turtle friend here. Hi, turtle friend. Let me jump on you. But uh, I, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. This, this little tiny build. It looks really good. I mean, I think it does. What do you guys think? Let me don't let me know down in the comments. Um, before you you comment with uh, Thrallish, uh, these reeds are gonna grow. Um, I actually not on this one. Uh, put string on top of them. Uh, you can barely see it, uh, but what happens is it makes it so the reeds won't grow any farther than what I've actually placed them as. So when I come back here, you can't really see that string at all. And it's just a you know a nice little decorating tip. Um, I might put one over here as well. Uh, let's let's put this on top. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, just a nice little decorating tip if you're working near the water. Uh, you can throw string on top of reeds to make them not grow any farther. You can also just continue to pile reeds on top of reeds to make super massive reeds. Uh, and some of you might know that if you've ever made an ink farm before. Because uh, that's one of the ways to make an ink farm. I don't know if I like these lily pads. I don't know if I went a little too overboard with them or what happened, but I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the lily pads. I might not keep those. Let me know about those as well down in the comments. Um, but no, this I think this turned out pretty nice. Quick, easy, and now I don't have to jump in the water and just run right over here. Boop. And we're at our portal. And even removing some of these torches, this place is pretty well lit up as well i mean you know with the, these pickles certainly help uh in the water and then i put some torches on the side here and this lantern really just lights things up very well um like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna do something about the torch spam uh today is not that day <laughs> uh what we will continue to work on though is this path that we've got so uh i'll check you guys in just a minute when i'm uh, got some of that path stuff going but first, we gotta sleep this night away. So that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not terrible. Just a little meandering path going right up the side. Uh, I might try to make, like, uh, some rock formations over here. I don't want to make it look like a steer... Steer. <laughs> sheer cliff or anything. But I think it would look pretty neat with a, uh, like, a little rock something. Um, you know, we have the gray up here. It'd be nice to complement it either on this side or this side because there's not really a lot going on here. So having a, a little rock formation sitting here might look nice. But what I want to do is do like a little bit of just uh, glowstone. Oh, it is four. Okay. Uh, put a little lighting under here. And this is subtle. All right. This is a very subtle light. That is not going to allow, allow a lot of light out of it, and that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's do another one of these. So if I put it here now, this little piece of glowstone, and I'm sorry, I'm uh, it's been a day or so. I'm fighting a cold now, <laughs> so I'm sorry if I sound a little odd. See, I don't want to put it here because um, with the path, you'd be able to see the glowstone underneath, and that bothers me but I might have to you know what let's try it let's see what it looks like um, make a little glowstone here uh, I need that I don't need the sand all right let's plop plop eh, we're, you know, we're just gonna have to deal with it <laughs> uh, so let's put you on this side put a little piece of glowstone boom boom grab you and we'll put you there. And, uh, oh, look, it's getting night already. So we'll be able to see what this looks like. I'll break a couple of torches. So we get the full effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, right now I'm just doing a little texturing. Um, actually, I do need you. I don't need the, the bow so much. Um... I'm trying to do a little texturing here on the ground. I've got some sandstone, uh, and I think that looks the same as the cut sandstone, but I also have the sandstone, st sandstone stairs. Boy. And that looks a little different. 
Um, right. Go away. Yeah, that definitely lets a little bit of light out. Maybe I'll throw one here. Let's try one right here. Whoa, and we got two. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Pillar up. Glow stone. Here we go. And a birch slab. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's not terrible. You know, it still lets a little bit of light out, but uh, not not a ton. Um, we'll put one here too, but uh, you know, gives it a little ambiance, I guess, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. Ah! Oh, there's a bunch of them now. All right, fine. I'll finish it in the morning. Jerks. <laughs> All right, so this isn't this isn't bad. I mean, I'm I'm happy with it. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Uh, there can be something said about over detailing, and I'm really good at that. <laughs> but um, no, I think this did pretty well here. Um, and if I go ahead and get rid of some of these torches, uh, you'll see. Give me just a second. Let me punch some of these torches out here. With the glowstone underneath, it's not a good light source, like I said. It's not something that will keep uh, <clears throat> mobs from not spawning. The nice thing about it is it gives it like this little ambient glow. And I absolutely love that. Um, now, like I said, uh, <laughs> it's really not going to help that much. <laughs> so we're going to have to find a, a different light source to keep... Whoop, hey, creeper. Creeping over there. A little bit. I wonder if this will catch a tree on fire. Okay, good. <laughs> but um, we're going to have to find a different light source to keep uh, mobs from spawning. Um, I'll come up with some sort of maybe like tiki torch idea for down on the down on the beach. But um, the fact that we don't have to jump all over the place in order to get from here to there. And I don't have to jump in the water in order to get to our nether portal anymore. Really just Really just makes me happy. Um, yeah, this has been a great little build. I gotta fix this side, though. W one, one day. One day soon. Baby steps, folks. Baby steps. But, in the meantime, it's, uh, back to ripping this wall down, really. Um, I want to make this, I think, just five blocks wider. And this here, I just cracked into, uh, one of the surface caves that literally goes right up to the surface, um... So that's kind of interesting. But I think we're just going to make this uh, a little bit wider so we can make a little more room for some of our farms. And then I think in the next episode, maybe we'll uh, start cracking on getting some of these farms going because it is about time for me to try my hand at some extremely basic redstone. And uh, what that means is really I'm just going to embarrass myself. <laughs> oh, man. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, I just, uh, you know, quick and easy one today. You know what I'm saying? Just a, just a quick and easy episode. Oh, let's send the camera back. <laughs> quick and easy episode today. Um, just, uh, you know, have a little build episode with you guys. Build a little bridge every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But, um, let me pick up the stone. Oh, hey. Been working on this beard for a while. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well and ring-a-ding that little tiny bell. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. 